Hi everyone and welcome back to PhotoWalk Pro Tutorials. My name is Jeff and today I'm going to show you a quick way to fix that annoying little problem that you get when you photograph someone with glasses and the the thickness of the glass or whatever it is basically creates this problem over here where it actually shrinks the area inside the, uh, the lens of the glass and you start to see basically the edge of the face where it doesn't belong which is inside the frame instead of over on the side of their face. So uh, the quick way to do this, and, and uh, credit my buddy Scott Kelby for uh, sharing this one with me a while back, is that uh, you need to make a selection inside the glasses. Now I'm not going to bore you with my selection prowess. Uh, I use the pen tool to, to do my selections. And I'm going to go ahead and load the first selection here because I've already done this and saved it and that way you don't have to actually see it. So it's the first one right there. There we go. So now you can see the selection uh, just inside the edge of the uh, the lens of the glass here. And from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy the area that's inside the glass. So I'm going to carry, copy the eye and the basically the, the area of the face surrounding the eye. And just a simple uh, Command C or Control C we'll do a copy. Now the next step is to uh, paste that selection back onto the photograph. But I'm not going to paste it on the photograph. Actually I'm going to use the paste into command because I want to paste it right back into this little window, this little selection window that we've made. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Command Shift V to paste into. And let's go ahead and check our layers palette. And you can see over here, I'll go ahead and zoom in for you you can see that I've actually pasted that and this that's what this is right here that's the the eye that I just pasted but you notice over here that there's a mask associated with it now and that mask is basically the window of the selection I made so it's only allowing to come through that that pasted selection okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go back out the next step to this process is very simple I'm just simply going to free transform that area that I, that I just pasted in so I'm going to Go ahead and hit Command T to pull up the free transform tool. And then I'm going to go down here to the corner and I'm going to click and drag this out. But I'm going to hold the shift button as I do this because I want to maintain the aspect ratio. I don't want the eye to become distorted from its original shape. So holding the shift button allows me to maintain that aspect ratio. So simply click the hold the shift button, click with the one corner, and I'm just going to start dragging down. And as you can see, it's starting to actually fill in that little area on the side there. Okay, and I'm just going to do it till it fills in the frame and I get rid of that edge of the face on the side and then let go because I don't want to make the eyes larger than I really have to. Uh, I'm just going to double click and there you go. There's that first eye fix. Now, the only problem with that is that, uh, and let me show you over here, it's just slightly larger than this other eye. So, what I've done is I've gone ahead and made another selection of this other area around the glasses. So I'm going to go ahead and load that selection. I just made that already. I'm going to call that glasses 2 and pull that up. There you go. There's my other one. I'm going to do the exact same process here. I'm going to go back to my layers, back to my original layer, and I'm going to copy that. So I'm going to control C and then I'm going to paste it back into the same selection again. So command shift V and there you go. I have my second one. Same operation. I'm going to free transform with command T and then hold shift and now I'm just going to pull this one out just a hair, about like I did the other one, about like that. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and hit return. And there we go. Now I actually have both glasses. And let me go ahead and uh, zoom out just a little bit and move this over. And now you can see, here's the difference. This is before and this is after. So it's a quick little fix. Um, but a nice way to fix an annoying problem that you get sometimes when the person you're taking pic pictures of actually wears glasses. Uh, real simple, real easy. Um, if you have any questions, come over to PhotoWalk Pro, drop me a comment. I'll be happy to help you out. That's it for today. Uh, until next time, uh, have a great day. I'm Jeff from PhotoWalk Pro.